Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Pound Keys and I'm Kernette. Behold, I will be working on some cards. I'm using watercolor paper because it's going to be mixed media and there's going to be quite a bit of water as well. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing four designs and doing a little bit of sketching of the outline before I jump into everything. So, this is the sketching part of everything. I like to get the rough drawings done out of the way first so that way I have like an idea of what I'm doing. I did do some rough uh, thumbnails before getting down to the sketching so I didn't spend a whole lot of time overthinking everything. The designs for this video are very simple so I'm pretty sure most of you can do it at home. So now that I'm done with the sketching, I'm going to go ahead and color the backgrounds for each card. As you can see in the corner, I have tiny little thumbnails giving me an idea of um, what I want to draw. If you need planning before starting a project, that's perfectly okay and normal because not everybody can jump into a project right away and be comfortable. but. I just did like some rough outline and now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the color because it takes a while for the paint to dry or the page to dry after being wet. I just went ahead and did all the cards and not bother record all of them. As you can see in the corner right there, there was like a couple of other colored cards. But I let them all dry first before going ahead and starting to design or color everything else on the page uh the first one is a gingerbread man um and this is the awkward teenage phase of any piece of artwork i have where somebody will come over and ask what am i doing um don't worry it it'll come together i'm trusting i am trusting the process i am trusting the process The thing I like about using a medium that I don't use often or using mixed medium is that I feel as though I forgive myself creatively if something doesn't look exactly how I want it to in my head. Um, nothing is perfect and I like the fact that these cards turned out looking like they're handmade. Um, everyone's going to make them different and that's totally fine. I just did my best to enjoy the process because, not gonna lie, using up these gemstones on something for a change made me feel good about having them. Uh, 
I also have some star glitter. I decided that I was going to put it around the gingerbread man, like, as a little bit of a glittery, sparkly garnish um, to his background. I don't do it for all the cards, but I just did it for this one because I felt like he needed it, like that, that little sparkle of color. And this is what he looks like all done. Moving on to the next card. Okay, it's time for the ugliest of the ugly sweaters. And I decided to go with this washi tape. Um, it has like these vague or kind of silvery uh, snowflakes on them. And I just decided to go ahead and use it as the background for this sweater because it contrasts with the orangey reddish background well that's what i thought and then i went ahead and used a box cutter to cut out the shape of the sweater i actually had like a different cutter it was uh it had like a nice handle to it but i misplaced it so now i'm stuck with this guy but it got the job done like the the blade was sharp I do want to suggest that if you are um, young and not as coordinated to please have an adult to help you cut out the sweater, um, please and thank you. But yeah, I'm going ahead with more watercolor pastels to do the little design on the front, which is going to be a reindeer, but I'm not going to go ahead and use watercolor to activate the pastel. I'm just going to keep it like that gritty, grainy color because I feel as though it screams ugly sweater. So I'm, I'm keeping the texture. Same thing for like around the neck and openings when I'm doing the little shading with the blue. Um, that grainy color kind of gives me the impression that it's a sweater and it's probably made out of wood wool sorry about to say wood out of <laughs> wool and um yeah most fabrics are textured anyways once again i am back with the washi tape and i'm doing the christmas tree but i'm using two different greens one is like a green blue while the other one is a green pink pattern um i decided to do the two different colors because i'm i i wanted to do like show the layers um but i feel as though i could have done it a little bit differently now that i look at this video but you know what it is what it is it's okay um and things still work out with this picture so here i am with this other green you can't really tell the difference until i put it down um that it looks different from the first green that i placed down but it works it works i kind of wish i went with the darker color first then light then dark instead of light dark light but you know like i decided to go ahead and work with this once again, if you aren't very dexterous or don't have very good um, hand-eye coordination with knives, I don't recommend this craft. Um, or have a friend or an adult that can deal with the, the knife cutting part. Because it is, it is a fun craft, like the decorating part that happens. I just want people to stay safe, like if knives, you're not good with it then they should be avoided um but if you're if you're comfortable then go ahead oh and if you're looking for materials like washi tape and blades you can get them at the dollar store because they're it's like the most inexpensive thing as for the watercolor paper um I actually just bought it as a watercolor card set, however, I'm pretty sure you could just take regular watercolor paper, fold it in half, um, make sure it's over 180 pounds so it can handle the water without buckling too much, and you're good. So uh, this is the part where I'm having the fun of decorating the tree and adding all the rhinestones because I have so many. <laughs> but 
this is the fun part anyone can do this um i use super glue because that's what i have on hand but you can use regular craft glue to glue down the pieces or a hot glue gun if you're careful and you're allowed to use one once again these crafts they're fun but you need to stay safe um so that's my recommendation Once all my rhinestones are set, I did go in with a gold Copic marker and decorated the whole thing um, and added my little embellishments. And this is how it turned out looking. Um, yeah, this is my cute little tree. Moving on to the next project. Once again, this is very color heavy with the pastels, um, but I went in with the watercolor pastel and decided to color the whole thing with the pastel. And I know it looks really gritty and it's hard to tell what I'm doing until I drop some water, but trust the process. Now that I have my colors laid down, I'm going to go ahead and activate everything. It just takes a little bit of water, a brush, and you just go in and smush, 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 smush. Um, I do have to get in close to some corners. If you see my head popping up in the corner, it's just because I'm being very careful about not activating um, paints ahead of time and then the colors mushing and I know red is a very dominant color and I didn't want the red to bleed into the yellow just like I didn't want the red to bleed into the green because green and red makes brown or sometimes like a, a blackish color but I was trying to avoid doing the colors you do have to jump around with sections when you're working with this like I said before because if you work with one color exactly beside another one they will bleed a lot and it takes I'm not perfect with this technique but it takes a bit of practice but I'm not gonna be hard on myself if I make mistakes because those happen too and I don't have a ton of experience with watercolor pastels but I have a pretty good idea on how they behave and it's similar to watercolor you just gotta like be patient actually they do work well with watercolor pencil crayons as well so if you wanted to combine the two that's totally fine but i put in some rhinestones on this bear i kind of wish i had like used uh washi tape on the ribbon on the trombone but it is what it is anyways it's pretty much done and these are all my cards I hope you have a great holiday. Pound the subscribe button if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And leave a comment and a like. Oh, shares are always welcome too. But yeah, these are my Christmas cards for the holiday. Sorry, my camera is always awkwardly losing focus. But I will figure that out. Alright, pound keys out.